Hello, boys and girls. I'm Hong Seop Kim. And my name is Bamsa. And my name is Bamsa. He's third grade and first grade. I'm their father. We all came from the South Korea. Today, introduce Korean tale. The tale about the tiger and sun. The title is Tiny Feet Between the Mountain. Written. And illustrated by Hannah Cha. Last beginning. Once upon a time, in a large village between two tall mountains, there was a small child. Her name was Selin, which means tiny person. When others took two steps, she needed to take four. One handful for others meant three armful for Selin. But this never stopped her. The people in Soin's village often competed to see who was the strongest and loudest. They even boasted that they were bigger and more fearless than the spirit tiger rumored to protect the surrounding mountains and forests. This picture is the Korean traditional sport. There is a rope in the among the people. They pull the rope to their side. If the center of the rope move to the him side, he will be in. He will be win. So in we study the other villagers and complete that each task in her own way. How can someone so tiny keep up? The villager would whisper to each other, but still Soin refused to give up. One morning, the villager woke up to find the sky was filled with the thick black smoke and red embers. Thunders boomed and echoed between the mountains, and the sun was now now here to be seen. The children asked for volunteer to go to the mountains and see what had made of the sun disappear. The crowd was in silence. When still no sp- no one spoke up, someone took a deep breath and said, "Sir, I will go." Suddenly, the villagers' voice rang out, "You can't even carry my pot. How can you bring back the sun? You will be lost in those woods." Soin was startled by the outburst, but then she calmly folded up his her sleeves and tied up her braid. The brave little girl knew she had to try. She ran home to pack her pink bow jacket full of supplies to for her journey. Pink bow jacket is just, the clothes is the biggest square, and it usually. Uh, some carrying object and books, so it seems like the modern bag. <laughs> so we go to the wood to find the greatest tiger. So I knew she was close when reached the part of the forest where smoke was thickest. The hissing sparks were hottest, and thunder was loudest. Suddenly, Solon stopped it dead in her trap. She couldn't believe his eyes. It was. It was. The spirit tiger. Solon took a step back. She had only ever heard the story about the greatest spirit tiger. She not- noticed that heavy tears dropped it. Drifted, drifted from the tiger's eye, and he fur was covered in cracking flames. Look up, she dared to ask, "Greatest spirit tiger, what is the matter?" I am the greatest protector of the mountains and forests, so I wanted to rule the sky too. I chased the sun with all my might, but when I opened my mouth to roar. I accidentally shouted it. Now the sun is angry and trying to burn me from the inside. The tiger was. 
Let me help you. So instead, he pulled her away. You are a mere tiny child. What can you do? The tiger sounded adorable as the villagers, but certainly he was wrong about her. I can help, she said. Simon took took out of the bottles from her bajagi. She sprinkled the water in his fur, but. There were no mo, too many flames to put her out. Remembering the river, she glide, guide to guide Guided. the tiger there. But when they got close, the flame on his fur dried up the water. Cyan tried to blacken the fire with mud instead, but it was no use. Maybe the blizzard and the spray tiger are right. Maybe there is nothing that I can do. So in sight, sadly, I cannot keep up with the flame on the outside. But that Soin got an idea. She'd been so focused on what was happening on the outside that she forgotten about the real problem was on the inside. Super tiger. Still. Using her pink bojagi to protect her hands from the plane, Soin climbed up Tiger's tail and on the, onto his back. She climbed through the angry, wild bird, using her tiny hand and feet to the tinkle, tinkle the tiger. The spirit tiger began to shake with laughter until smoke fell with his nose and. Rushing her footing, Soin began to fall, fall, fall. But the tiger got her small body in his large paw. His eyes twinkled like stars. He rolled it, whirled. Like a daylight. I can't believe it. You did it. Thank you for your help. Come, let me bring you home. Down in the village, Solomon could see people scrambling and yelling with fear at the sight of Spirit Tiger. They suddenly looked it very tiny. Solomon climbed up the tiger and begged the villagers forward. One by one, they came out. And listen to the Soin's tale. When she was finished, Soin introduced the villagers to the spirit tiger. The celebration and cheering erupted as a, the spirit tiger kissed Soin on the head. He bestowed the blessing from her and village before returning to the mountains and forest. From that day forward, the villagers were kinder toward Soin, and she was known as the greatest of them all. The end. Bye.